Hey folks, welcome to another Water Trek 360. Today we have another video on reefs near Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Let's check it out. As I mentioned in a previous video, Fort Lauderdale has an extensive reef system consisting of two to three parallel tracks at varying depths. For these sites, boats generally leave out of the Port Everglades Stranahan River Inlet that you're seeing here. On this day, we were doing two reef dives. The first was Hammerhead Reef. Do check out my recent video on that. The second site here is called Barracuda Reef. This reef is closer inshore, 20 minutes or so out of the inlet. It's technically part of the second track of the long reef system. It is just east of the Dr. Von D. Mazel Eula Johnson State Park. I know that's a mouthful. Formerly known as the John U. Lloyd Beach State Park. Most dive operators do a deeper wreck dive first, like the Donald G. McAllister or the Miss Dania Beach, followed by a dive here due to its popularity with its shallowness, reef structure, and abundant fish. Check out my videos on both the Miss Dania Beach and the Peter B. McAllister Rex. Depths at Barracuda Reef range between 20 and 30 feet. The high profile ledge of the reef can come up 10 feet or so. This area is known for plentiful schools of grunt, a wide variety of corals, lobster, moray eel. Occasionally you'll see nurse sharks and turtles, depending upon the season. Like the other area reefs, it runs in a north-south direction. Again, the east section has some of the spur and groove formations, and the western section features ledges, crevices, and overhangs. Your best bet is to stay on the reef. If you go too far east, you'll be in 30 plus feet of water and see only sand. If you go too far west, you'll end up in 15 feet of water, again seeing only sand. While this site is predominantly a drift dive, there are close to 30 moorings in the area for boats to tie up to, so you will see plenty of boats. Many of the locals launch from the ramp at the Von Ziaula State Park in Dania Beach, with the potential for a lot of boat traffic, and since the reef comes up to within 20 feet of the surface, always be aware of what's above you when ascending. We actually had a situation at the end of our dive when a powerboat cruised right through a grouping where our dive floats were clustered. Be aware. I will tell you there are times when there are just too many divers in the water, even when you are drift diving. On this day, we had a full boat. Do everyone a favor though, learn how to be buoyant and don't touch the reef if possible. Don't be this guy. All underwater video is taken with an iPhone 14 Pro. For the rest of the video, I will let you enjoy some of the many fish I saw this day. As in the last video, let's see how many of the 20 marine animals I've listed that you can identify. Should be easy.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. How many fish did you identify? There are several dive boats that leave out of the Fort Lauderdale area. I will leave links for those in the description. I'm not affiliated with any of them, nor paid by any of those organizations. I have a couple more reef videos coming, so look out for those. Go out, plan some new dive adventures. I am. Just go have fun. And as always, until the next time, go explore or get wet. <laughs>